thinking of onboarding an advisor? Someone with technical expertise that you'd like to tap on, perhaps on a weekly basis or for a specific purpose such as fundraising and on a long-term basis? Consider these things. Number one, remuneration. Will the advisor be paid in cash or shares? And if shares, will these be issued as options, ordinary shares, or preference shares? Remember that by issuing shares to an advisor or options, you're essentially giving your advisor a long-term stake in your company. So be sure to set clear milestones on what you expect to achieve from your advisor, as well as a legal mechanism to unwind this stake if the performance is not met. Number two, ownership. Say you and your advisor develop certain ideas, which the advisor feeds in from time to time. You'd want to make sure that these ideas belong to you and not the advisor. Or if the advisor requests shared 50-50, though this is not typical, this is typically reflected in an IP clause, which makes clear who this belongs to. Number three, basis of engagement. Finally, ensure that your advisor is acting an independent contractor. Otherwise, you could be subject to your employer obligations under law, such as leave and overtime payment. At the same time, you'll want to ensure your advisor acts in your best interests and does not say, advise your biggest competitor as well. Our greatest advice, if we are your advisor, is to enter into an advisor agreement, which cleans up these points prior to the engagement. This could avoid a nasty conflict down the road.